Hello. So this is the Amnesia Knot. I named it shortly after I created it because I seem to struggle quite a lot with teaching it and I forget how to make it quite a lot. But once you've got it, it is quite easy. It's a bit random. It's not 100% symmetrical. That's worth noting. Um, and yeah, it looks nice on both sides. So you're going to take your other piece of yarn or rope and you're going to put the two ends together so that you've got them um, exactly kind of half there. You don't need to cut it at the other end. All right. This little bit here, I'll keep this in view. This little bit here is the bit that goes around your neck here. So it's important that you make sure it's long enough. So I'd say about 15 to 20 centimeters where you do nothing. Okay. Then what you're going to do at that point is you're going to make a little loop. Now, one thing it'd be worth saying, I'm going to try and go as slowly as I possibly can. But um, in YouTube videos, you can always go to the bottom right and there's a little setting button and you can change the playback speed to make this faster or slower, depending on how you're feeling. All right. So that's my little shape that I've got at the moment. I'm going to take the long yarn, which is this one here, and I'm going to bring it up through the center. I often keep my hand there so it keeps it nice and flat. Now you'll notice I've been quite careful to make sure that everything stays nice and flat. I don't want anything twisting or going over each other. So that I would recommend the same. It's best to do this right first time than um, try and fiddle with it later, try and fix it. But obviously you have as many practices as you like until that point. And then you're going to make a, this is the process. So after you make the little pretzel there, this is my little pretzel shape. The process is always the same. You're going to start with a right loop. So a little symmetrical right loop, and then you're going to bring it up through the bottom right hand corner. I normally find it's easier to pull the end through. So I've made a little loop. I'm pulling the end through the center, holding my hand flat on the work. So it kind of doesn't get all twisted. And then I just need to make sure these are even. So bear with me a second. One seems to have gotten a bit of a twist. There you go. Okay. Now you'll notice I didn't pull it till it was flush. I've left enough space in there that I'm going to be able to go back down. So I made a little loop to the right. I came underneath the bottom right hand corner and I left enough space inside that I can go back down through that space. So here I go again holding my work and pulling it all the way down like so. I'm just going to repeat that now. So the process is this. So I'm doing a loop to the right and going up underneath the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going down through the loop I made. So here's my loop. I'm coming up through the bottom right hand side making sure that I, that one in particular, you don't want to keep pulling, otherwise you'll just pull it straight back out again. So you have to manually make sure you stop there and make sure that there's enough sticking out that you can go back down through it. So again, hand on top, pulling that through, making sure they're nice and flat, doing it again. So loop forward, coming up through the bottom right hand corner, holding it down, pulling it through, but not all the way through, making sure you stop when you've got a hole big enough, and then putting that down through that hole, holding it down. And I think that's enough, maybe one more. That's a good thing, is you can decide how big you'd like your necklace to be, and you can stop when you like, when you've run out of rope. So I'm gonna go one more time, so I'm gonna come loop, up through the right hand corner, stopping when I like the size of it, grabbing the ends and then pulling it through the center, getting those nice and flat. And there we have it. I think that's, I'm happy with that. I think that's a good amount. That seems to, that'll sit nicely, I think, on a neck. And then the same process to glue them together, just cut it to the length that you want. And then again, make sure when you attach these that you're super careful um, with the super glue because you've got two ends to get in. So make sure you do use that little stick, that I, the little cocktail stick that I sent you to really force those in and make sure they're in as tightly as possible. 
um, so that you don't have to um, yeah you you don't have to use your fingers at all. I hope you enjoy that. You have got a little bit of extra rope, um, and you can have a little go at crafting away with that. All right, enjoy and uh, have fun. Have fun wearing it. Bye.